to create a visual designs and I'm back with another video. Um, this video is going to be how to make a vision board uh, for 2026 using Canva. Um, so this is perfect for people who just want to create their vision board and be able to print it out. Um, or if you want to be able to have templates that you can go ahead and sell as well. So this is for um, anybody who wants to know about creating vision boards. So the first thing that you want to do is go over to templates on Canva and you're just going to simply type in um, vision board. So it's pretty simple. And then now you have all of these different templates based off your uh, size choice. You can have it landscape or you can have your portrait. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for. And you can go through and see all of these different templates here to see which one that you like. This one has different categories and different um, pictures to go along with them. These have different labels. So you're just gonna go ahead and pick which one you want. This one has like short word phrases that you can put by the pictures. So you're just gonna simply go through and this is the easiest way to do it. You could do it from scratch, but um, why not do it from a template? So this one, so you're just going to go through and then when you find the one that you like, you're going to just click on it. And we're just going to click on it and I'm going to show you how to um, edit the template um, for anyone who may need help with that. I do have a um, 2026 guide uh, for beginners on how to use Canva. It's over an hour video, so you can check that out as well if you are a beginner to Canva. Um, but as you can see here, this <clears throat> this is the template. I'm sorry, and this is where you can edit the text. So you just select the specific text. Up here at the top is where you can go ahead and change out the font, and you can see what's the difference when you select it and whether you like it or not you can bold it if it's not already bolded add italics underline it if you want to undo it you just simply click undo and go back to the original um original font which is this so obviously we're going into uh, 2026 so you would change this out here are these little labels you can change all of these texts here to go fit the categories that you want. Again, you can change the font over here. You can change the font uh, or text color by clicking them over here. Um, if you want all of them to change from black to that particular color, you can hit change all and it will change it all at the same time for you. But if not, then you can just select it for that particular one bold it um, it's probably better as black but again when you're designing it you can do how you want for the pictures let's see here detach pictures so these are all templates or frames which is great so all you have to do is right click each picture select detach image delete it and then add in your own pictures so you can either upload them select upload or you can go ahead and go add to the element section and uh, find what you are looking for so if this is travel we're going to type in travel or you can type in a specific country that you might want to go to um, let's say if you want to go to Jamaica You might put the flag there. You might put the beach there, something like that. So you can go and change out all of these for sports. They have the bike, um, but if you can put anything that you are wanting to do, let's say you want to get into boxing just for um, exercise, you can go ahead and add that in as well. If you're a woman uh, or man, you can go ahead and put that in as well. And just change up the categories and go ahead and switch it out so it's pretty simple on how to go ahead and edit 
these templates. You're just going to edit the text. Um, you can edit the pictures. And like I said, when they because they're giving you the frames, all you have to do is, and you really don't even have to delete them first. You can just replace it and put it in like that. So that's a quicker tip as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back over here to the search. As you can see, there's a ton of options. Even this one is even simpler. This is like the portrait size. Customize this template. And you can print this out and have this on your um, in your house, wherever you want it. But as you can see here, same thing. You're going to edit the text. All of these are templates, so you can hit detach image, or you can go ahead and just replace. Go ahead and replace the images by putting them directly in there. And then if it kind of crops and you want to change it, you're just going to hit that button right there. With the crop button, you're going to move it if you want it to be more centered. Again, you're going to hit crop right here, and you'll be able to edit the duration or direction of the images. So this is like a, a picture frame. So if you wanted to change the spacing right here, you're just going to select the frame, select spacing, and you're going to be able to, you can increase the grid spacing or make the pictures closer together. You can also change the color in between. Okay, that's the color for that background. So we want it to kind of match this actually so if you wanted to change the color of the overall background you're just going to select that and then you can change that as well and that's going to make the whole thing black or the whole thing gold but it looks good with the white um, but if you wanted to you could and so that's pretty simple on how you can go ahead and create uh, vision boards for 2026 again this is perfect for just someone who wants to you to create this for personal use um, if you did want to create uh, templates to sell then you have to I recommend creating your own design at least getting inspiration from these because you don't want to just sell these exact uh, templates in Etsy so as you can see here so something like this where it's kind of hard to see the text because of all the pictures you might want to go to effects and maybe add a background to it and that will help um, if you have something where it's just a lot of photos so that looks good for this white you could um, add an outline on it so it kind of stands out you could make it black do something like that thicken it up a little bit and there you go so now the vision board text pops and then you can have all of these uh images this seems to be one whole image i'm trying to figure that out oh, okay this is something on top of it so they have this over it and you got to be careful that it doesn't go into the spots and then underneath here is where they have the eight boxes where you add all of the images. So this is a lot more images on top of each other. So if you like this design, you can do this as well. And so, um, yeah, so this is how, hopefully I gave some enough tips because um, this is just meant to be like a simple tutorial for if you're wanting to create a vision board. Um, so I hope that this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what type of videos I should create next and subscribe so that you don't miss a video. And again, there's a ton of different ones that you can go ahead and edit. This one is cute as well. You can just change out the year. This is kind of like a scrapbook looking one. So you can do this one as well. And um, yeah, I've already done 